Oh yeah. I'd be crazy. running late for this run. So I literally ran out of the office, forgot my interval timer. So I'm gonna have to rely on my watch and I'm gonna have to watch it a little bit closer so that I make sure to do my four run, one walk. Brought my hydration, very important. This week is week five of our training for the Walt Disney World Dopey Challenge. Very busy week for me, not so much for the running. We've got two 45 minute maintenance runs, one today and then a three miler on the weekend. Got my son all moved out into his new digs, his new bachelor pad. And my friend from Texas is still with us. that have the most shade. I'm doing pretty good. I did lather up with a ton of sunscreen and my visor, as usual. It was just announced yesterday that the last scheduled race I had on the books this year has now become a virtual, as most races have done this year. You know, I've been watching some of my favorite YouTube personalities and this real struggles that they've been having, staying motivated and trying to stay training for a race that they don't know when they'll be able to do. That's hard. My advice, first and foremost, surround yourself with positive people. Oh, excuse me. People who will help you see the humor and who will keep you on track for your training. Keep you grounded. Like my friend from Texas. She sees the silver lining to every situation. Cheers. Cheers. So let's try to think of some pluses, some pros to not racing or doing extensive traveling this year. Well, one, obviously, I am saving money like crazy. So I'll have it available. Oh. So I will have it available when we are able to travel and race again. You know, it also forces you to look outside the box for your running. And it helps you discover new places to run in your neighborhood. Yeah, that's it. That's all the pros I've got. Do you have some pros, some benefits for all these races that are being canceled? Leave them in the comments below because that's all I got, those three. I wanna give you one cute little idea to do on one of your next training runs to help keep motivated. I subscribe to a website called Run Guides. And the other day they posted this really cute game. It's called Run Bingo. And I'm gonna do that today. Just to help you keep motivated. 
cross off those X's on your bingo card and then shout, run bingo! I've tried to add a couple of miles to my week because it just seems like when you have friends in town, you eat and drink more. So I'm just fine. Hmm. Run more, eat more, drink more. My son spent the night last night because we were up late. Baby drinking, safe for him. So he's on the treadmill right now and I'm running. Let's see if I can beat him. In my mind, I'm beating him. In reality, I'm not beating him, but I'm pretending to run with him. I've never beat him ever. I am running my normal route in reverse. It's kind of odd. It's the same route. Why does it feel so different? I'm looking strong. Left. 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 One mile done, two more to go. This is the final run of the week. It is a three miler. I had to get out real early because my goodness, it has been so hot. Friday, it was 104 degrees. Oh. All right, not music. Um, I'm gonna count this one because I haven't been listening to music so my playlist cannot end, but my podcast ended, so I have to start a new one. 19 seconds. So here we go. Here we go. Oh, I got one mile to go, it says. Alrighty, starting a new podcast. If you have not subscribed or listened to Heather and Jen, oh my good golly gosh, you guys are the best. You make my run. So much more entertaining. One benefit of getting up super early in the morning to run, I have hit every green light for my stoplight, so I have not had to pause my watch during this entire run. You can't tell, but I am mentally working through life issues during this run. There's a lot of Life issues right now. Pandemic, worried about your job. My son moving out, taking the dog. My friend visiting, wishing she lived here. Lots of things to run through in your mind. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see how we did on our run mingo. everyone is staying motivated. This is tough times. And for us that love to get out and see people and run with people, it is extremely hard. Stay strong. We will be together again. And like I said earlier, surround yourself with people that are positive, motivating, silver lining people. They're the best. <laughs>